All right, today's uh, dough is, bar is brought to you by Cart and Driver. It is a pizza restaurant here in Denver, and they make a beautiful, this is probably a 270 gram Neapolitan dough, which makes a perfect 10 to 12 inch pie. And uh, very inexpensive for a pizza place that has really good wood-fired pizza, so definitely check out Cart and Driver. And today's stove we are testing is the Solo Stove Pizza Prime. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, so when you start your pizza, every pizza person has a different way of doing it. I'm not a pizza person, I just eat a lot of pizza. And uh, this is just kind of my way of how I do it. First I flour it up inside of a bowl, and then I get to uh, moving over the, uh, the, the pizza. And sorry for the, loud noise in the background and once I have it in I just kind of give it a little wobble just to kind of get it into there and then I'm going to start stretching it by hand when you are stretching pizza make a fist but don't put your hand on your thumb underneath there and don't be afraid if you are buying a good uh a good uh dough you can stretch it pretty far my doughs can never stretch like this because the glutens are never strong but when you buy professional pizza dough from a real pizza place their dough is going to be pretty damn strong you can see over here pretty good glutes and a very strong dough which is important if you want to make neapolitan pizza you really got to stretch it and flip it if you don't like the way i flip my pizzas i'm sorry you can go flip yourself and we're gonna go again and we're gonna just get one little last piece here and then we're gonna flour lightly up the thing yes i flour it up everyone makes the pizzas their way we're going to put that on there. This is a 10 inch pizza peel. And now, non crushed San Marziano tomatoes from King Super's private label edition, half the price. And we're just going to go over the light on the sauce because I think our crowd here enjoys more cheese than they do enjoy sauce. Copy that. <laughs> we're just going to give a nice thing, I think, for this pizza. We're gonna do a, uh, a crumbled feta with goat cheese and some fresh mozzarella. So right here, beautiful crumbled cheese. You don't need a lot of cheese on these small pizzas because they tend to turn out pretty small. Here's our goat cheese. So we'll do a, uh, a three cheese pizza and we'll get a couple of uh, these fresh mozzarella bowls and drop one on each corner, north, east, south, west and the earth core in the middle <laughs> and then up top a little bit of the good old cheddar cheese to go on top of it all can never go wrong with having more than enough cheese on a pizza too much is yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and turn our fire down and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide this guy in nicely now you're gonna let it sit for about 30 seconds before making any changes. A good rule of thumb is when you look down at the crust at the bottom, you wanna make sure that this has at least doubled in size in the front because if you do go to move it and that hasn't cooked all the way to the front, you will end up ripping the dough. So you do need to wait at least 30 seconds to a minute until that front part cuts down. If I wanted to cook it faster, I can raise the fire up. And if you look under from the top, you can see the fire reflecting off the top of the thing, which that's what makes true Neapolitan pizza. So you just hang tight with a minute for us and uh, we'll show you the end result of our beautiful pizza pie here. Now, Yosef, are you thinking this one's uh, easier to use and more consistent than last year's solo? Yes, stuff? definitely seen in great improvements between this one. And it's heat up time is under 40 minutes. Uh, it's cook time is very even once you start spinning the pizza and it is very hard to burn a pizza in here if you know, if you just pack, if you just practice uh, safe pizza making. So now I'm gonna rotate counterclockwise till I get those first beautiful, nice burnt bubbles yeah. come up on this side and you can start to see in the back, the crust will start to rise and we're gonna wait for it to get a little bit of this. We're gonna turn our flame up a little bit in the air. Oh, look at that cheese, it's looking oh, gorgeous, nice. exactly. I'm gonna go back a little bit over here. I want to get a, r a full rise on everything. The pizza we're going for today is a, more of a Neapolitan style pie. My pizzas never come out round, which is okay. And uh, nothing is plump. Mm. 
Let's take a look at the bottom. Nice, beautiful undercarriage. The oven does cook quite evenly. The, uh, the pizza, especially underneath, which is very important in some ovens, half of the oven is very hot, half of the oven is not as hot. I would say this oven is pretty equal in its heat distribution throughout the entire oven, which is quite a, a nice thing to see. And what kind of temperatures are you shooting for with this guy? Uh, you want to cook where the stone's at at least between 650 and 750 for a nice even co uh, coating. The, the, the stove is what's most, the stone is the most important part of the oven, okay. essentially. So the oven's going to get hot on the top very quickly. It's the, it's the bottom, which essentially gives you crunchy pizza. If it's not hot, you're not getting a crunchy pizza. So 700 degrees is the minimum that I want to be cooking pizza at, or it will have to stay in there significantly longer to basically bake at the bottom and it won't be even. Makes sense. So when you throw your first pizza in, if you're breaking in the oven, throw it in at 600 because you do want to get some debris and stuff to build up on the stone. Once you've built up your pizza oven a little bit, then go ahead and throw in the, uh, throw your pizzas in when it reaches seven to 750, and then dial down your fire so you don't burn the pizza right away. And I'm looking at this right now, and that undercarriage is looking beautiful and gorgeous. We're gonna turn it up for a second, just to get a little bit of a nice crispy top. And as it starts to do that, I like to personally come in and spin the pizza like an automated, like a automated oven. And that helps preventing it from burning. And that does give it a nice, beautiful, universal, round, charcoal -y look. And I think we are done. <laughs> Magnificent. Yeah. That is our Perfecto. fourth pizza. Four cheese pizza. Then they get. And uh, these are available with a link from Engearment. And uh, once again, Solo Stove uh, Pizza Prime. And hope you enjoyed your uh, Engearment review. I'm Yosef, check it out. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>